All right, welcome back to Bunker Hill. Welcome back to Itching to Scratch Golf. Uh, last video, I played the front and I mentioned a bunch of my rules for winter golf or how to help play winter golf. And I mentioned to par back your expectations, no pun intended with the par. Um, you're not gonna come out here and shoot your best round ever, is what I said. However, I shot a one over I didn't even, I hadn't even realized I was, I was going that well, but I uh, shot a one over on the back last video, or on the front last video. So uh, <laughs> I'm throwing that first rule of powering back your expectations out the window, and I'm gonna see if I can't score my personal best on 18, which would be under par. So I need to go two under on this back, which back nine at Bunker Hill is much easier than the front. It's not out of the realm of possibility, but I haven't been playing so long, so my driver is We'll see how it goes. Wow. That thing was low. Fortunately, I'm not getting a lot of run today because of the cool temps eagle-eyed viewers and whether well, or not your viewers I don't know you may have noticed that the Sun is in a very different spot than when I just teed off it's got a call I had to go <laughs> I had to leave the course it's about an hour later for my tee shot here I'm just walking up to where my ball was I'm completely uh, out of my groove just rushing around Getting back on the course, I'm just trying to lock in, focus. Really, I'm just, you know, I mentioned that I'm trying to shoot my low round ever, but that's not a good, it's not a good attitude to go into when playing rounds, especially I haven't been playing a lot. I'm just gonna try to build shots one after another, see if I can put a couple nice ones together and birdie a few holes, have some fun. So that's what's going on. All right, I am 262 out. Um, since I haven't swung in about an hour, I'm going to take my one length hybrid, get it up there. Hopefully where I got 50 yards in or so. It's unfortunate. 168 playing 171 into the breeze a tiny bit. good but I lost it in the sun and it felt really good let's see well I hit that seven iron 207 yards I, uh, you know it was into the breeze but it must have just been a little gust because the breeze stopped and it hasn't really picked up again since and I probably just hit this back slope and kicked another 10 yards. So I probably carried it 197, uh, which is not <clears throat> normal for my seven iron. So I, I mean, I hit it absolutely. I hit it on the, on the screws, but last time I played this hole, I did the same thing. I was way over on, with the seven iron. Oh, well, let's try to get up and down for par.
ideal to start with a bogey when I'm trying to get two under. However, these first three holes, not really even. The first hole is a beast. At par five, it goes uphill. It's hard to score on that one. This one is doable. Par three next is doable. So everything from here on out is actually pretty darn easy. So I'm still not out of the realm of possibility, but I just have to think, put good swings on it, stay back, stay down, turn through. open club face I hit it I hit it really it's pretty square it's just the club face was open so you know it's gonna go right when that happens I'll be behind some trees not ideal okay so the flag is whoop 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 down there other side of those trees I'm gonna try to go up and over with an eight iron 139 playing one no not eight iron 139 playing 142 I'm going over with a nine iron Actually, pitching wedge just to make sure I get up and over. And if I really flush it like I've been doing, 140, I can carry this 145. So that was a lot of talking. Here's my face. That should have been a three putt. That was a really bad first putt and a really good second putt. Par. One seven three playing one seven five. Wind left to right. I'm gonna take a seven iron and just hope I don't hit it 207 again. Really, my seven iron should be 180 club, 175 to 180, so. mid irons beautifully today except for one chunked seven iron on the front i've just been flushing them i don't know if we can is that all we can zoom in there oh you can't see that at all huh yeah a little bit okay so it was slightly long carried it one you know two paces about seven feet too long you wanna see how I do this? Down and up. Don't go down and pry with up this way. You damage roots. Angle, up. Oops, sorry. Sometimes this inner can get a little goofy. 
All right. Good as new. So, I'm gonna go from behind, I think. Got it going pretty straight in. bird. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, a bird. Oh, oh. Wet. But I'll take it. Get a lot of birdies on par threes. I'll take her. All right, I've been missing right with my drives. Club face. I think I'm rolling it open and keeping it open. I'm gonna really concentrate on flat left wrist. Not rolling. Staying my butt back and turning through. Ready for a snapper. Hey -o. Hey -o. Double cart path. I drilled it. It was it was pretty low, but uh it was right where I was aiming. Got two hops from a cart path. Should be a real nice shot. Well, this was 100% cart path aided. Aided three, was it 12, something like that. But I probably carried it 280. I mean, it was a great, great shot, but I got 30 yards at least just from a cart path. Ooh, maybe more than 30, maybe 40 yards. So I'll take it. Uh, I've got 62 yards left with 54 degree. Wow. Just yanked it and way long and horrible. And I'm gonna cry. Well, I had a 60 degree shot up and down for birdie. Now I've got a very difficult short sided mini flopper with a 60 degree to get up and down for par. Wow, I landed it short, that thing did not move. That was a pretty silly shot, but it worked. Bogey. Not ideal.
cutting the corner, trying to drive the green. walking up my fairway for some reason I miss it a mile right but I'll have a good shot in that's a good thing when you're when you're missing right on this hole as long as you put a good swing on it you're, you're probably gonna be okay well here you see the lack of roll you got backspin with the driver still got like 60 yards or so I don't know I'm gonna go shoot it and tell you what it is 189 playing with no, 89, playing 92, 54 degree. Quite a dollar bill, more like a gold bar. Oh, look, a bird. Missed my line. I'm glad I missed my line. Play provisional. Play provisional. provisional over the green I I laced it so it's a good example of then when when you don't have a super solid swing the need to flip at the bottom and I made some progress with that with the uh, early extension drill but I need to get to my left side more because when you hang back like I do you're still flipping. So early extension is part of it and hanging on your back foot because you're either gonna bottom out behind it and fat, fat the ball or you're gonna thin it. You need to get to your left side if you're a righty. You need to get to your front side during the swing, which I'm struggling with. So, you know, then it's just a timing flip at the bottom. The first one, I, I missed it and I pushed it a mile right. The second one, Timed it up perfectly and hit it just over the pin. Actually went over the green. I drilled it and it was straight as an arrow. So, and the timing obviously gets a lot harder when you're not playing very often. So in the winter time, it's not so good. But I'm gonna work on uh, maybe my next drills and scales. 
series will be uh, getting to your left side, hitting ball first, then the ground. Let's see if I can find my first ball. been draining those putts. Not that time. Double bogey. 141 playing 147. I hit to probably 10 feet and it came back good. Let's see. One, two, four, five, six, 18 feet. Leaving me, you know, triangular, not quite 28 feet, probably 20 feet uphill. Oh, there it is. Tractor beam. Sucked me right in. Uphill. Short. I stopped short. Get in the comments and say, I stopped short. That's my move. Let me know who said it. Last hole, par five straight away, but it is a temporary green. So it's short, but the green is like putting on this. So it's still par five. Because you're gonna get three putts on it probably. Here we go. I was really concentrating on getting the club face closed and I left it wide open hit it up the ninth fairway so might not be too bad but it was a mile right man I just my drives have been all over the place Ten feet or so. Well, it was a beaut. Uh, I was 173 playing 176, and I drew a little seven iron up and over that tree to, I don't know, I told them 10 feet. It looks to be maybe 10 feet. Well, not 10 feet, more like 40. <laughs> it looked like 10. 
Uh, so this is the temporary green, which as you can see, is basically the fairway. So I'm actually going to chip, because I think I'm on the green, but it's hard. There's no really delineation between green and fairway on the right side of this green. So I'm gonna chip it, just try to carry it almost to the hole because it is per near impossible to putt through this. But that's why this is a par five. Here we go. Really poor effort. Hit it fat. Boy, that hurts. That was luck as much as anything else. That was just uh, hit it hard, hit the flag stick, and hope. And it worked out. Birdie! Oh, look, a bird! <laughs> All right, uh, thanks for watching. This was a really great round. Uh, there was no expectations coming into today, playing winter golf, first time I played in a month. I've only played up until today, twice in the last two months, so um, my drives were all over the place, but my irons were great. I was hitting my, my mid, like, six seven eight irons nine irons great chipping was okay a couple good good uh, up and downs but i think i only made one or two up and downs this whole 18 so um putting was fantastic i shot 31 putts 15 front 16 on the back um that last hole i considered the first shot a putt because i was i think i was on the green it's just who, who can tell thanks for watching come back see you next time it's the, the scratch, scratch goal. goal.